Hi, everyone, and welcome to ITW Extra, powered by JSA, coming to you today live from the floor of ITW in National Harbor. And joining me today is Jim Fagan, brand new CEO of Aquacoms. Welcome. Well, great. Thank you. Great yeah. to be here. I know this is far from your first time at ITW. Yes. You're a veteran <laughs> of the industry, um, but but new in your role to Aquacoms, and it's exciting. We're excited to be here talking to you for the first time on JSA TV. Uh, Tell us a bit about, first of all, your how you're finding the show and your experience being back here in your new role. No, great. Thanks for that. And thanks for having me. And it's uh, it's really exciting to uh, to be here in the new role. It's actually always exciting to get back here. It's just um, the amount of people you meet, you run into, whether it's just old colleagues, friends, but you pick up your own current customers, but you also find out what's going on in the industry. It's a great learning. Yeah. So, so the time here is so valuable. And to be able to come into the role at Aquacoms and start um, here is actually great because it's almost yeah. immersing me completely in the business with my team, with the customers. And really, you know, I was excited to take this job. I've obviously know Aquacoms very well from being in the industry with them. There's times I've competed with them. There's times yeah. I've cooperated with them. So from the outside, I always had this great respect for them. And it's, uh, it's fantastic to get in on the inside and see not only was all kind of what I thought was true, it's even more so. It's a, it's a great team. Yeah. It's a great business that's been super successful. I'm really passionate about our customers and uh, you know, really well respected. So I, I couldn't be more excited to be part of that team and see how we actually grow from that foundation and go take the next steps for the company. Yeah, amazing. And and I couldn't agree more. What great timing. It's it's like it was planned, yeah, exactly. right? Exactly. You start, you're here, <laughs> you get to talk to, you know, uh, such a, I'm sure a large um, base of your customers and partners and 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 prospects and, and future connections. I mean, what great timing, but also a great start to the show for you. I know that you had some breaking news this week. Yeah, no, and I'd love to take credit for it, but since I've only yeah. been here for a little bit, the team's obviously done an amazing yeah. job. So, you know, we announced one of the first production uh, 400 gig uh, connectivity uh, subsea on the transatlantic. Yeah. And so also end to end, uh, you know, with tails and data centers, so completely synced. So again, I think it's, you know, why 400 gig on terrestrial is kind of a bit of old news. Yeah. Subsea, there's still a lot of complexity. And I think it's exciting for us because, you know, being, um, you know, pure subsea, you know, carrier of carriers, you know, we have a lot of capacity. We want to give our customers options as they use that. And really, for those customers to use a large amount of capacity, what it's going to do for them is it's going to allow them to consolidate some of their traffic. It's going to actually reduce costs by reducing cross connects on the back end, the, on having the split traffic or combined traffic to then go from 100G to 400G terrestrial. So, again, it's it's the next evolution in sub C. And, uh, and again, our team did a great job of being a pioneer in it. And we're excited that we're going to actually productize this um, on all of our current assets as well as the future ones that we have planned. So it'll be a core offering from Aquacoms going forward. Fantastic. And and I mean, this isn't the only only innovation that's been happening, I, I think, with Aquacoms, right? You have uh, AEC3 uh, yes. as, as another uh, yeah, release. Absolutely. So if you look at our at our heritage being a, you know, a transatlantic uh, company, uh, we've actually had provider. So we've had two systems, AEC1 and AEC2. Yeah. So we got very unique with naming the other one AEC3. <laughs> yeah. But uh, but it's um, it's important for us. So it's going to give us three diverse and resilient routes across the Atlantic for our customers. As customers are looking for to get to different endpoints. So now we'll actually be able to pick up customers. If you think of the three cables, Jersey or New York, this will be out of Boston. Um, we interconnect. Yeah connect in through uh in through in, in through dublin and through the uk so it's more diverse routing yeah. for our customers and then um you know it just really helps our system and leverage our systems le and uh, leverage the opportunity for our customers to get different levels of connectivity with us and uh and, and more flexibility yeah so important and i i mean I, i'm sure that you've been talking about all of these things throughout the week Absolutely. Uh, and is there anything else though sort of what as we, th as we think about you know again we've talked about yeah. you being back to ITW, it's, it feels bigger than ever, at least than it's been Absolutely. in maybe four or so more, more years. Yeah. Um, but, but what are the big things that you're finding coming up this week for you? Yeah, I think it's, you know, it's, um, it's interesting. I think obviously those four years also had operational impacts in the industry, particularly in the subsea space. Yeah. And, you know, demand though has, you know, for capacity has remained like unabated, the growth of it. And I mean, yeah. Who knows what we'll see out of AI coming? All you know, it's going to go up and probably go up a lot faster. Mm -hmm. And what there has been is there's been a lot of delays 
on some new systems due to some supply chain issues, due to the constraints of so many people wanting capacity. So, you know, it just really reinforced that, you know, we need to be that provider that can have capacity for our customers that we're in the right markets that they need to be. Yeah. And it's really helping me with the team kind of steer where we want to go next and, and what we want to do. So, you know, one thing I know that the, the, we previously announced was, um, you know, we'll be uh, when it goes live, um, you know, sometime next year and the next year, you know, we have a uh, capacity on the two Africa cable uh, right. from Europe into India right. um, that we for our purpose, we call it the EMIC cable. Um, but it's uh, it's so there. And so really, that's part of that global expansion. That's what customers want. They want to be able to start going Europe to India, there's a there's a lack of capacity there. So what, that's part of our expansion, is how do we take this expertise that we've developed in the Atlantic, um, you know, on being just a world class subsea provider, mm -hmm. and how do we actually take that and get more capacity, more options for our customers in the in the big global data center hotspots that they want to be. Right, that's amazing to hear. I mean, that's been a big conversation we've been having this week. I mean, you mentioned AI. That's yeah. We've been hearing that all over this yeah. week. I, I don't have, have an know. opinion on or anything else. No. So I'm not going to sit here and tell <laughs> okay, the world's yeah. going to end. Right. But all I know in our business, it's going to lead to more customer demand because right. it's just and so we have to be ready to serve that. Yeah. And it's a global play, as you said, Absolutely. right? And into these some of these bigger and developing markets um, that where there's just you know, the sky's the limit sort yes. of thing. So to be there to serve that is is so important. And yeah. uh, just sort of as we wrap up, as we, you know, you think of leaving here and, and where will you take these conversations, sort of what's next for Aquacoms over the next, I don't know, year or year and a half? Well, I, I think, you know, the, the one thing is, is to keep executing like we've been executing for our customers and supporting them and operating. And the team's done a brilliant job on that. It's actually, you know, bringing this um, AEC3 system in online at the yeah. end of this summer. It's, um, you know, getting ready. Uh, we did an expansion into India as well by acquiring a company called OpenBite to provide right. that landing force, provide those licenses. But more importantly, it's about the people that are part of that group, the expertise that's on the ground that we can now offer customers and how they navigate getting their traffic into and out of India. So it's a bit of the combination of that. So getting that going and then how do we replicate that in other, other areas of the world, whether it's in Southeast Asia or Trans-Pacific and, and then not just on the assets themselves, but building the team of local experts that really know the market that can add the most value to our customers. So really, you know, that's what a lot of my focus is on. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, and I'm hoping that at these conferences going forward, you'll see a lot more announcements on us yep. on seeing Aquacoms expand and seeing, um, you know, us continue hopefully to be successful for our customers and give them the options that they're looking for in the market. Yeah, amazing. And, and we look forward to hearing about all of this as it continues to evolve for you and for Aquacoms. And and so for our viewers who may want to connect with you, with Aquacoms, how can they do that? Yeah, it's great. Just go to our website, uh, www.aquacoms.com. Uh, yeah. So I don't, don't usually have to say that that much, so I'm getting used to it. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, exactly. So go to the website. And yeah. If you got any questions, Luckily, feel free to, to reach out. Yeah, yeah, feel free to reach out to any of our teams, and uh, we'd be excited to have those conversations with you. Fantastic. Thank you so much. No, uh, thank Jim. you. Yeah, really a pleasure to, to meet you here for the first time on JSA TV. Great. Yeah, and thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV, coming to you live today from ITW on the floor of National Harbor. Until next time, see you soon.